You know, it's time for you to heal, sis. It's time for you to deal with your childhood traumas. It's time for you to deal with your your voids. It's time for you to deal with your abandonment issues. It's time for you to deal with your rejection issues. The reason it is time for you to um, deal with those things, it's because that this is the time that God is doing a new thing. And he's doing a new thing in the earth. And in order for you to be able to ride the wave, in order for you um, in order for you to be able to participate in, in, in what's going on in the earth, you have to deal with you. It is time out for making excuses about what your mom did, about what your dad did, about what your ex-husband did, about what your boyfriend did, about what your, your family did. It's time for you to stop making excuses. And it's time for you to deal with you. This channel is all about us taking responsibility for our own happiness, our own success and our own freedom. And the way we do this is we take responsibility for ourselves. We are responsible for how we feel. When you start taking accountability and when you start taking ownership of you, that is a powerful place to be. Because what you're doing is you're letting the universe know, you're letting the enemy know that you have the power to change your view. You have the power to change your thinking. You have the power to heal yourself. When you start taking back your power and you start looking at yourself and start saying, listen, I am the common denominator in all of my issues. I am the common denominator in the relationships that I allow into my life, the people that I allow into my life. You have a choice you have a choice on whether on on whether um whether these people come into your life or you know leave your life. You have a choice. You invite people into your your um energy, into your circle, into your vibration, into your spirit. You invite those people. So if you invited them, you have the power to uninvite them. See, I think we have a problem when it comes to healing, because we don't want to get rid of the people that we love. You don't want to get rid of your mom. You don't want to get rid of your dad. You don't want to get rid of Bay. You don't want to get rid of your siblings. You don't want to get rid of your BFF you've been friends with for 20, 20 years. The reason you don't want to get rid of them, because it's comfortable. It's comfortable there. You know they don't serve you well. You know they don't make you feel good. You know they talk about you when you're not around. You know they don't treat you right. You know they're not reciprocating the love and the energy and the 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 the, the vibes that you give to them. They're not reciprocating that. You know they don't do that for you. But you're comfortable, so you don't want to do the hard work. It's time to do the hard work. And doing the hard work means it's time for you to lift. It's time for you to do the heavy lifting. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to make a, um, a what they call a clarion call. Like, listen, I'm not dealing with y'all anymore. Just pull back. You can pull back. You pull back and start doing things that satisfy you. That's going to heal you. That's going to get you to where you need to go. And if those people want to be in your life, they will understand. They will give you that time to grow. They will give you that time to heal. Because one thing I noticed about people, when they see that you become serious about what it is that you want to do, or you become serious about what it is that you said you were going to do, either they, re either they will respect it or they will reject it. One or the two. That's why it's so good to heal and so good to find out what it is that you need to be doing because when you get into your true purpose you will be able to identify the wheat from the tear you will be able to identify who's for you and who's not for you when you start working i mean walking and working yes when you start working and walking i didn't mean to say that but when you start working and walking in your purpose and in your calling that is a gift to you because that would let you know who is for you and who is not for you, who, who goes with you on a journey and who doesn't go with you on a journey. 
So it's time for you to heal so that you can be happy, so you can be whole. It's time for you to heal, sis.